So guys, I have my Mavic Air right here, and I also have my Apple Watch on. To most people, like that wouldn't really throw up any red flags, wouldn't throw up any alarms, but let me just show you what happens when you try to calibrate your drone, your Mavic Air, your Mavic Pro, your Phantom 4 Pro, your whatever drone, when you wear an Apple Watch. So when you first get a new drone, it pretty much always prompts you to do a compass calibration. It's just one of the many things that you have to do when you set up your drone um, from scratch. So let me show you how that works. So we're going to put the drone on the ground. And then I'm going to also power up my controller and connect my phone to it. Okay, so I'm going to calibrate my compass. Start. So first, you just rotate it like this. And then you put it sideways and then rotate it like this. But then I get an error. It says, too strong magnetic interference detected. Ensure that there are no magnets or metal objects nearby and hold the aircraft at least one meter off the ground when calibrating. So, did you, did you get any hints? Like this is the magnet right here. My Apple Watch, like the magnet is really strong. So let's try it again without wearing the watch. So you rotate it like this, and then like this. And now it says it's good. What I'm curious about is what happens if this magnet gets close to the drone while it's flying? I don't know, like what if you're trying to like catch it on your hand or something like that? So let's see. So it seems like having the magnet in the drone while it's in flight doesn't have, have much effect. But what happens if you try to have it take off from your palm? Let's see. It also seems like after compass calibration, the magnets have no effect on the drone at all, unless it's super close to the main body. So the only time it really refuses to take off is when the Apple Watch is actually on the body of the drone, very close to the compass. I'd probably say because the drone has a higher tolerance um, of the compass errors like when you're about to take off versus calibration where it wants everything to be very exact. Um, also too, once the drone takes off away from you, there shouldn't really be too many issues. You know, there could be like a millisecond um, where the compass isn't just right due to it being close to you, but after that it's good. Also too, this should help you realize, you know, don't calibrate your drone near any type of metal or magnet. Um, like if you're near your car, keep it away from there. If you're near, like even your smartphone, like keep your smartphone away. It's not worth risking um, any potential issues with your drone. So that's it guys. I just wanted to show you that. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.